we have a chair and it's protecting or covering the um, the outlet power strip. Nevertheless, be careful. I'm going to step back and forth. I want you to be able to see. So I'll just, I guess, step off to the side and avoid the danger and let you see my slides. So we all have a role to fill, don't we? We all have a role here, but we also have roles in our lives. We're sisters or brothers. We're sons or daughters. We're parents. We're spouses. We all have a role. And Toastmasters operates on that same principle with everybody has a role. We, our goal, our mutual goal, is to grow and to learn. And we do that through our meetings. But everybody has a role to fill. Even if you came in for the first time, we're going to try to get you to say a little something. Because that's your opportunity. As Mark would say, that's your practice. That's taking your shots. So, doing your reps. I'm going to review the roles of the meeting today. And then we will also talk about the roles of the officers. And because we have so many new members, I think maybe even especially our guest, Robert, might be thinking, speaker one, speaker two, timer, Joe, what? You know, I mean, it might be a little much. So I'm going to just go through this for everyone's benefit. We have a Toastmaster. That is the Master of Ceremonies. That's our, I guess, flagship name. But um, it's the person who conducts the entire meeting. Start to finish, they're responsible for how the meeting turned out. They review the schedule of all the duties and they contact those people and make sure that, that the roles are filled so that we have a productive, useful meeting. Our topics master, here in this club we call it a table topics master for the table topics portion of our meeting. That person comes up with questions that really anyone could answer. It's an opportunity to practice impromptu speaking. That's probably my favorite role in, the, in Toastmasters. Speakers. Fairly obvious. Usually our speeches are five to seven minutes long. They can be up to 10 to 12 minutes long or even longer. But the speaker provides prepared talks. There's usually two in our club. We have two speakers. In some clubs, they meet in the evening once a month, and they might have four or five speakers. But in ours, we have two in a day. A general evaluator conducts the evaluation portion of the meeting that comes toward the end of the meeting. The general evaluator's job is to evaluate the meeting and to call on other people who have feedback for all of our members, such as the grammarian or um, the vote counter. They do not evaluate the speakers. That's the job of the speech evaluators. So we have as many evaluators as we have speakers. Those people provide encouragement and feedback from an individual from their own personal perspective and encourage the speakers to improve and to strive for the next time. Our timer, filled today by Matt Pujay, thank you, and last week by Tuan, I believe. So we have two of our new members filling in this timer. It uh, can be some of the hardest work, honestly, and the reason I say that is because I'm so fascinated myself when I'm listening to a speaker that I often forget to press start or to press stop. So <laughs> that's probably the most challenging job, but it also trains us to get used to how long we have to speak and convey our message in the time we're given. The grammarian and the odd counter in our club are combined. Those roles perform, uh, sorry, <laughs> I'm demonstrating the role actually. That person watches grammar usage, listens for correct usage of words, but most importantly, at least here, is uh, making people aware of their use of clutch words, like um and uh, you know, kind of, or so. And by doing that, the speaker improves getting their message across as opposed to hearing um, uh, so, you know, that's all your listeners will hear sometimes. There are some additional roles in the club, but we don't call them by these names. We have uh, inspiration or joke is a combined role, and it's up to that person in that role to come up with which thing they'd like to do. Or they can combine them like Lisa did today. She did a funny story that was meant to be inspirational because there's an uplifting and then the vote counter receives all the ballots toward the end of the meeting, tallies them, and announces who won best speaker, best evaluator, and best table topics. We in this club do not have a parliamentarian uh, role in our meetings. So, moving on. Sorry, I was just saying, okay. I don't know. Um, the club officers have roles in our meetings as well. The sergeant at arms, where'd you go? 
there you are. It's all our Toastmaster today. But he's the person who comes in and sets up the entire room with the, the podium, any the AB, the name tags, the banner, the flag, the timing sheets. He sets it all up and he does this pretty flawlessly. I'm always impressed. Our president, Lisa, is responsible for opening the meeting, making announcements, and introducing our Toastmasters. Vice President of Education has a role starting way back with the schedule. He schedules people for the role. This is Eric, I'm sorry, Eric. He schedules people for the roles on a rotating basis with the idea of developing everybody's skills in different ways. Speaker, evaluator, timer, whatever. Vice President of Public Relations gets the word out. They send out flyers. Mark's not here. Mark is acting as our VPPR because our other member has moved away. Um, our Vice President of Membership is my role, and I'm meant to greet our guests, new members, answer questions, uh, help you with the membership form if you're interested. Robert, I have a packet for you later, so I'll give you that. Our secretary, Brian, will take notes at officers' meetings and also uh, keep track of uh, attendance. Finally, our treasurer, Susan, will be addressing you later today, but she keeps track of when people want to join our club, paying the dues, and, and those who wish to continue their membership. Every six months we collect dues, and she's the person who makes that happen. Okay. So they wanted to end, this is a presentation that's formulated by Toastmasters, but at the end here, a quote by Henry Ford, coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. But working together, sorry, I added the button. Working together is success. <laughs> so when we all fill our roles and we all work together, we have success. Let's do Toastmasters.